Namaste. The biggest secret to yoga is not a secret at all. It's not hidden. And we do it all the time, every time. It's the breath. It's not the physical body and how much it could accomplish practicing the postures. It's not the books. It's not the theory, the jargons, the names, the principles. The philosophy, yes. They will help you in the future understand the deeper aspect of the practice. And to just inspire you as you tackle the journey. But really, we need to start from our very precious gift of breathing. The breath is given for a purpose. It's the most superior for our senses. If we stop breathing, we die. Even the mind surrenders to the force of the breath. But the mind later on and how we feel inside the hearts will assist the breath in our explorations of our deeper realms. But before it happens, we need to understand our breath first from its natural basic pattern. So for a moment, stop. And then just breathe. Breathe normally. Don't adjust. And as you do your breath, feel the nostrils. Are you breathing through the nose? Or are you breathing through the mouth? Very important to assess. Where is your main channel of the breath? Is it the nostrils or the mouth? And then from there, feel your lungs. Are your lungs heavy, trapped? Just that, and do that a few more times. And then blank your eyes open again. Question. Are you a nostril breather or a mouth breather? If you're a mouth breather, it's a serious physical issue that needs immediate sorting right away. Breathing through the mouth is unhealthy. It is an indication of some internal issues, you know, the heart and the lungs. And if you don't sort that one out as quickly as you can, as soon as possible, it could lead to cardiorespiratory conditions later on. So see your medical practitioner or your yoga teacher so they can help you manage the condition. But for most of us, we breathe through the nostrils, which is the healthy way of breathing. But how we really maximizing our general capacity to breathe? That's another question. So, when you breathe through the nostrils, can you feel blockages getting in the way? Although the lungs, yeah, you can feel the lungs could inspire or draw more air, more energy, but for some reason, since your nostrils are clogged, you can't breathe the lungs fully. Or it may be the other way around. You feel the lungs are heavy, yeah, that you can't inspire as much as you want. So two things, and this is very Basic, right? Left the spine tall, sitting tall or standing tall, and that sorts out the issue of your posture. 
because the posture, particularly the spine, would have to open up so the lungs can breathe. So if we're always slouching all our lives, and some people are more rounded, I am rounded, and sometimes I need to remind myself that I need to open up. Yeah? If you overanalyze things, if your work is you know, around that uh, discipline, you're always sitting in front of a computer working, overthinking, yeah, and then there's a probability, huge chance that you're more like that and yeah, because you are thinking mind. So change it. Not really change it all the time because that's part of our spiritual nature, but make an effort yeah, to become aware of your posture. Lifting tall. Allow your lungs to open. Breathe. If the issue is around the nostrils and you feel blockages clogging the nostrils, it's easy to sort out too. Just knees it out. Flush the blockages out. Cover your nostrils and then just sneeze. Expel the breath out of the nostrils. I mean blockages, the exhalation. Like you're really clearing the nostrils of those blockages. You can do it one side, maybe five times here, five times the other side, and then five times both sides. And it's basic. We've been doing that all our lives. It's just that we are doing it for the purpose of cleansing our pathway. Because this is the main pathway of the breath, the initial pathway of the breath. And there are practices in yoga which you can learn. You know, for example, the breath of fire. <laughs> which is so effective in unclogging the nostrils of the blockages. And there uh, are progressive stages of learning this so it can suit your ability and limitations. So it becomes part of your breathing practice before you do your natural breath. Next is this. The mind would have to be calm and relaxed and quiet as you do your breath awareness. And there are practices too that we can include in a program so we could relax the mind while we are doing a breath awareness practice. You can breathe through the mantra so hum. So as you inhale, your mind says so, lifting your awareness up to the brain. And as you exhale, hum and then send your awareness to the heart. I will discuss the heart later. Yeah. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Yeah. And do that a few minutes. So, hum, so, hum. Or you can say a prayer. Prayer is so powerful in calming the mind. Or it may, may be an issue of your posture again. So if your shoulders are tight, if you're slouching, if you are tense, if the neck is tight, then the breath will not be able to rise through the, the inner brain. Thus the mind becomes so restless, heavy. So assess, where is the issue coming from? And finally, this. How we feel, the heart. And I don't want to be too dramatic about this. When you breathe, allow your chest to really expand. Allow it to rise. So the heart is a muscle. If you exercise the heart, then you allow it to become stronger. And how do we exercise the heart? Let it shine forward. And spiritually, the heart absorbs the grace of God. And then when the heart is open, when it is strong, both spiritually and physically, you know, it allows all its beauty to shine through. 
So we become happy. So you don't have to change the way you feel. Right? Just breathe through the heart. Right? So the breath has a beautiful way of affecting not just the body, not just the mental state, but also our emotional. And when all of these things are sorted out, our spirits become happy too. So when we are healthy, we are happy. We worry less. We have more energy to give to others. So a lot, five minutes, is never a big chunk of your daily lives to practice breath awareness. And it will really take you far when it comes to promoting not just your physical health and wellness but also your mental clarity and your spiritual peace. So five minutes, start right away, maybe tomorrow. Choose the right time for you, maybe in the morning, maybe midday, or maybe before you sleep at night. And then do it again tomorrow. And then the following day, the day after, and so on and so forth, again and again and again. Until you can't live without your breath awareness time. And I tell you, it will really make a huge difference, not just in the way you practice, but also in the way you think, the way you feel, and all this will translate to the way we deal with the world. Till the next time. Namaste.